EPB is an electric and communications provider. We were established in 1935. We serve about 196,000 electric customers and about 130,000 fiber optic or communications customers. EPB's mission is to enhance the quality of life for our community. And we felt like that having access to high-speed connectivity supported that mission. In 2009, we launched the EPB Fiber Network. In 2010, we launched America's first one gig internet service, which was a community-wide service that was available to anyone that we served from our communications network. EPB partnered with Nokia when we built our fiber to the home network to install their GPON network, which is one of the benefits that we have by having this fiber rich network. It makes our system an opportunity for many other applications to be layered onto. One example of those things is a smart city project that happened as a result of a partnership between the city of Chattanooga and UTC. This started in 2013 and our fiber network was used to connect cameras and sensors and other electronics to monitor vehicle and pedestrian traffic and has the long-term goal of preventing vehicle fatalities in the city of Chattanooga. And all of that was made available because EPB has the fiber optic network available. EPB smart grid, uh, all of that communication that makes up our smart grid runs over our fiber optic network. We deployed our distribution automation platform, which is made up of about 1,400 smart devices, all of them connected to the fiber network, all of them communicating with each other, as well as back to our SCADA system so that our operators always have visibility of what's going on on the network. And through that communication system, all of those devices automatically switch to isolate those problems and restore service to as many customers as possible. This has improved our reliability. Customer minutes of outage time has reduced by about 50%. The most recent example of the smart grid performance happened when we experienced winter storm Heather. A little over 6,000 customers did experience a duration outage, but over 15,000 customers on our network had no duration outage because of the smart grid either preventing them from experiencing an outage or automatically restoring their service. One of the areas that EPB has worked in for the past couple of years is quantum technology. We have built the EPB quantum network powered by Cubitech, which is America's first commercially available quantum network or quantum test bed. We're working with other partners like DOE and Oak Ridge National Labs currently to figure out what role quantum technology may play in the future of power system operations and also in the areas of security. EPB's partnership with Nokia has allowed us to continue to increase speeds that we offer both to residential and commercial customers. From 2010, when we did the one gig service, we expanded that and increased to 10 gig several years later. And currently we offer up to 25 gig service that is community-wide available to anyone on our network that has those type of applications. The first of those that we installed was a 25 gig service at the Chattanooga Convention and Trade Center. Another public space that we wanted to make sure that people traveling through Chattanooga have a great experience from a communication standpoint is at the airport. And EPB partnered with Nokia to provide a 10 gig public Wi-Fi service at the Chattanooga airport so that travelers can download and be entertained and do the things they need to do for personal and business entertainment. We've built a, a successful network and a successful business Along the way, we've had to work with Nokia on providing new products as they come about or making sure that we have the inventory that we need to build out our network. And anytime EPB has had a need, Nokia has been very responsive. They've worked through many challenges to support EPB through this about 15 years of our partnership.